Hi, this is Scott Fortunoff. I'm here in Greenville, South Carolina today to show you our October 2019 collections from Studio E. In this release, we will have 13 collections that will ship anywhere from March to June of 2020. Let's get right into it. This is Butterfly Paradise by Elizabeth Isles. You'll remember Elizabeth Isles. She did Mariposa, A Flutter, Natural Wonders, and several others. And her whole thing is she has this technique that she uses, and it's Basically, these are printed traditionally, but the look of them, they look like batiks. And here on the right side, so on the bottom, you could see this is a uh, 19 SKU collection, and this one ships in March. And on the far right side, we have a blender in three colors. Uh, this line is mostly pinks and blues, greens and blues, and then uh, aquas and blues as well. So um, in the middle, we have the aqua and blue uh, ground butterflies, and below that we have a tie-dye looking print with little ferns on them. And then as you move further in, you could see we have the uh, slightly larger butterflies, also on an aqua and blue ground. And then we move over to the ombre with blue and green, purple and blue, and then green and aqua. And then over here we have some medallions in the yellow, the blue, and the aqua. And then on the bottom we have these lovely little uh, plants, and they're um, tonal but really beautiful and vibrant. Uh, blue and green, purple and pink, and a lime green with green. And then finally on the far left we have the blocks, and these blocks are six and a half by six and a half, and you know of course these could be cut out. So let's go to the back of the card and see what we have here. So this is just showing you the scale of the blocks, which I said were six and a half by six and a half, and then this is showing you the scale of the butterfly. This is, oh, this is just showing you the all over. This was reduced 50 percent. And then finally we have your free project. Uh, the first one is a quilt using the blocks that are cut up. And then we have one that uses the beautiful plant panel, which is on the front of the card. So there you have that one. That is Butterfly Paradise by Elizabeth Isles. This is Christmas Memories by Lucci Cravato. This is a 12-piece collection, and this one ships it in May. Uh, as you know, most of our Christmas lines ship in May, and our Halloween and Harvest lines ship in April, and then June is winter theme. That would be anything winter that doesn't have a Santa. So this is a lovely collection. On the far right here we have the panel. This is a 24-inch panel, and then below it we have the just colors that go with this line. And then we have a word print, and then we have a little patchwork with little different shaped checks and stripes in there. Then we have a Santa print with the word believe and a couple colors of peppered cotton that would work nicely with this collection. And then we have a red and white print with little words and, and little characters, um, little reindeer, kind of all winter theme kind of things. Uh, then below that we have a snowflake on a red kind of wood ground. Um, and then we have candy canes. And then over here we have blocks. So these blocks are six inches by six inches. And then below that we have the little pine trees, the other coloration of the snowflake. Uh, we have your hot cocoa and some words. And then we have a little bit of a, a red and white kind of wood panel stripe. And then if you go to the back, you'll see the words. And this is reduced 20% just so you could see all the words so you know what you're getting. And then we have the blocks. And you could, same thing again, this is reduced so you could see all the words. And then finally, we have the free project. And all of our free projects can be found at www.studioefabrics.net. And then this is the Christmas Memories quilt. And this one is 54 by 72. And it uses the 24-inch panel right in the center. So that's Christmas Memories by Lucci Cravato. Fiorenza 108 is a new digital uh, collection of 108. This line will be printed in Pakistan. Uh, as is most of our 108 line. And then I'm going to show you the back just so you could see the design. Really a beautiful design. And if you see, the reason why we're doing it digital is because there are so many different shades. And um, with, in Pakistan, the, they struggle a little bit on the traditional printing on all that shading. So that's why we do it digital. Um, but as you can see, it's really nice. Uh, we have the beige ground, the gray, the black. The, the bright blue, purple, red, and brown. And it has all different shades in it, so really it would go with a lot of different quilts. And there again, you have the uh, purple on the back. And don't forget that all of our 108, these are an 18-yard put-ups, and there's seven SKUs in this collection, and this one ships June next year. This is Fiorenza 108 Digital. Harvest Moon by Grace Pop is a Halloween collection, and this one, as 
I've mentioned before, it ships in April, as do all of our Halloween. This is a 14 SKU collection, and this is a nice large color card. So over here on the far right, we have a 36-inch panel, and then below it we have the cats with the stars, little skulls. Uh, then as we move to the left, you see the spider webs with the spiders, some pumpkins, and then we get into this really neat blue color ground with these haunted houses and trees and all different Halloween motifs below that. Uh, on that same colored ground, we have the little crows in the trees, and then we have a second coloration of the cat. And then as we move over to the next page, you can see the block print, and these blocks are 10 and a half by 10 and a half, and you could cut them out, or you could strip them, or, or use them as is. And then below that, we have the another smaller pumpkin, and then the crows again, and, and ghosts on the trees, and that's on a um, orange ground. And then we have the same one in black and white. And then in another in black and white, we did the cats. And then finally on the far left, we have the scenic. And this time it's on an orange ground with haunted houses and witches and really, really striking color ground. And, and it's really sharp. And then below that, we have our you know Halloween colors of just color and peppered cottons that would work with this collection or any Halloween collection for that matter. So here uh, we reduce the panel. And this way you could see uh, actually, sorry, this is not reduced. This is the actual scale, so you could see how big it's going to be. And then we have the blocks. You could see how big those are going to be. Again, those are 10 and a half by 10 and a half. And then finally, we have two projects. This one is a uh, piece quilt, and this one's called Harvest Moon Quilt 2. It's uh, 51 by 64. And then we have one using the panel, and this one is 52 by 47. And that is Harvest Moon by Grace Pop, and this one ships in April. Home for the Holidays by JVP Creations is another Christmas line that's going to be shipping in May of 2020. And this is a 12 SKU collection. And this one is red and white with some shades of cream in there. And it really has a lovely feel. And over here on the right on the top, we have the uh, panel. And this is a 24-inch panel. And this is, uh, has blocks that are 9 by 9 Really, although it looks like a panel, they're not calling it a panel. There is no P in the pattern. So really, these are just repeating blocks. Below down here, we have your little holly. And then we have silhouettes of people. And then we have your, your uh, bias stripe. And then we have a snowflake on a cream ground. And then as we move over, you see the, the nice scenic of the town uh, on the beige ground. Below that little snowman and little, a little ditzy print. And then over here we have these uh, this six-sided shape, and then we have the holly again on the white on the beige ground, and then some snowflakes, and then finally we have a lovely stripe that ties it all together, and then below that we have some just colors that go with collection. On the back we have the stripe. This shows you how many rows you're going to get, and then we have the blocks. These are nine by nine, just to give you an idea how big that is. The free project for this collection uses the blocks. And you can see it right there. And this one is 61 by 77. There you have it. That's Home for the Holidays by JVP Creations. And again, this one ships in May. Little Red Barn is a new collection by our newest licensed designer, Viv Eisner. And we typically do well with these farm lines. And this one is juvenile in primary colors. So right up here on the far right, we start off with the hexagon shapes. And they have little animals inside. Then we have the little ducks. The cow's on yellow, the all over scenic, a little check, the sun's on red, and then we have a 24 inch panel. And it's uh, cut into three quadrants. So you have a strip on the top and the bottom, and then a bigger square in the middle. And then over here on the left, we have a tossed animals on red. We have little pigs on white, uh, a selection of just color that would go with this. And then you have a stripe and an all over tractor with some animals tossed and a star print. And then on the back, this just shows you the scale of the print. And then you have the stripe to see how many rows you get. And finally, we have the project. And this one uses the panel in the middle. And this project is 58 by 78. So that is Little Red Barn by Viv Eisner. And this one ships in April. And it's a 12 skew collection. Midwinter Song is the newest Christmas collection by Laura Stone. Laura Stone brought us Eula 2 Cheer, Cupcake Cafe, and Off We Go. This one is a 12 SKU collection, and this one ships in June. As I mentioned before, we do winter theme in June and Christmas in May.
So this is uh, a red, black, and white line with some shades of uh, gold in it, which is really lovely. Uh, up here on the far right, we have little cardinals on the leaves with little berries. We have a little, uh, like a plaid. And then we have a scroll in two different colors. And then we have a panel. This is a really nice panel because it's 36 inches. And on the panel, you have the different blocks. And each block has something else that you could definitely use and cut it up, or you could just use it as is. Uh, below that, you have the peppered cottons that would work nicely with this collection. And then we have a little scenic. It kind of is a little bit stripy with little animals. And you could see the snow flowing through. And then below that, we have a real traditional stripe with black and white and red and white. And then you have a, um, a plaid. And then we have here uh, the blocks. This is just showing you the size of the blocks. So this is not a pattern per se, but it is one just to show you the scale of the blocks here. And these are nine by nine. And then below that, we have the red ground with the little ferns and the cardinals. And then we did the same print on a white ground with gray. And then finally over here on the far left, we have another scenic with these lovely trees and little snow and stars and moons and you have some different woodland animals. We did that on the gray, and then we did it with the black and white. On the back, we're going to show you the scale and size of the blocks. Those are 9 by 9 again. And then we do the free pattern. This line has two free patterns, and the first one here is a piece quilt. This one is 71 by 71. And then we have this one here, which is 65 by 81, and that one uses the blocks, and it's cut up. So that's Midwinter Song by Laura Stone. Peace and Goodwill is another Christmas collection, and this one is by Anna Chang. Anna Chang is a new designer for us, and we welcome her. Uh, this is a 12 skew collection, and this one ships in May. So starting at the far right, uh, we have the block print, and these blocks are 9 inches by 9 inches, and they have all different little scenic uh, you know, snowmen and reindeer and little winter scenes, really cute. And then on the far right on the bottom, we have a snowman toss. And then we have a Santa toss next to that, a snowflake on a light blue, some pine trees. And then we have an, another all over, nice on a mint green ground. And below that, we have a bias stripe with little stars and little pine trees in between, very cute. And now we have a nice 36 inch panel. 36 panel, 36 inch panels are great because it allows you to just throw something on the back and make a really easy quilt project. And then this line also has a Christmas stocking, and these are always very popular for us, and this one is really cute. And this is a 30-inch panel, and on it you get all the instructions to make the Christmas stocking. Then on the last page on the far left, we have the stripe, and uh, it has all different kind of winter scenes with Santa. And below that, we have the little homes and little small characters of Santa and the little animals. And then on the far left, uh, we have the uh, snowflake ground with Santa and his helpers uh, delivering presents. On the back, we show you the scale of the blocks. And these are 9 by 9, some peppered cottons that we suggest, and then the actual scale of the stocking. Actually, this is reduced 30%, but we wanted you to see the whole thing. And then we have the stripe, so you know how many rows you're getting. And finally, we have the free project. And this free project uses the panel right in the center. That is Peace and Goodwill by Anna Cheng. Prismacolor is a new basic by Chelsea Design Works. And the design for this was derived from the Beauty and Bloom collection by Chelsea Design Works. And uh, it did so well on the collection that we decided to run it in several different colors. This is a 12 skew collection, and it ships in May. We're also offering fat quarters, and these are available. You could get 24 pieces, and what's nice about this, this bundle could be used to make a project. You would just need to buy a couple other things to um, finish the quilt. So here we have the colors. So you have this lime green, and then you have a dark green. Then you have this aqua and blue, your grays and blacks. And then here we have your brights, a yellow, a, a really nice orange, and, and pinks and purples and blues. So you got uh, 12 colors of this, and look how awesome this quilt is. This is uh, 56 by 56, and as I had mentioned before, it uses the fat quarter bundle, and we gave you two pieces of each in the fat quarter bundle for a t total of 24 pieces, so you could make that lovely quilt. So this is Prismacolor, and we're hoping this stays around for a while and remains a basic, and it's by Chelsea Design Works. Pumpkin Spice is the newest collection by Nancy Archer. Nancy Archer 
I was the designer of Forest Friends. This is a 12 skew collection, and like Halloween, we ship harvest in April. So here on the far right, I'm going to show you what this looks like finished, but uh, this is a panel, and basically it's the, a 36-inch panel, and what you're going to do with the panel is make a pumpkin, and I'll show you that after. And then skip over here, we have an all-over pumpkin with gourds and all different kind of uh, autumn uh, fruits and vegetables, and then below that we have a leaf, and then below that we have some smaller pumpkins and some complementary just colors, and then over here we have a 24-inch panel, and it, it's basically two blocks, and these, they don't give me a scale here, but you could use these to make a mini pumpkin spice quilt, and the instructions are right there. Uh, below that we have the leaves on a um, reddish ground, and then we have a little coordinate, little fruits on orange, and then we have some pears, and then a little, little leaves, uh, some berries, and then a swirl, and then finally we have the stripe with the pumpkin and the leaves alternating, and some peppered cottons that go nicely with this collection. On the back, you could see the scale of the panel. And then here we have the stripe, so you know how many rows you're going to get. And as I had mentioned in the beginning, uh, the first project was to make pumpkin. And here's your pumpkin, big pumpkin, medium pumpkin, and a bird. And that's all from the panel, 36-inch panel. And then finally, we have the free project. And this is 54 and a half by 54 and a half. So it's nice and square, and it's a piece project. That's Pumpkin Spice by Nancy Archer. I'm really excited about the next line because it's from the youngest designer that I've ever worked with. Uh, this is called So Kind, and it's by Stitches by Charlotte. And the young lady's name is Charlotte Gould. And Charlotte was born with a cleft palate. And as a young child, she endured several surgeries. And she had got her first sewing machine and then decided to make a doll showing the cleft palate or some sort of injury. Uh, she got, somehow a lot of people found out about this and they were all very interested in getting the dolls. So she started making the dolls and now she's very well known and uh, famous for doing these dolls. So we decided to work with her and license this collection and it's very sweet. So let me show it to you. And of course with this collection we're trying to encourage charity and giving back and that sort of thing. So this is a 13 skew collection. It ships in June. And here you have a 36 inch panel. And what this panel is going to do is going to make two things. For one, it's going to make a doll. And number two, it's going to make this adorable bag. And it says, I smile because. And then on the back it says several things. It's sweet. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm the sewing sweetie with a smile. I was born with a cleft lip and palette and have had surgery on my smile. I love to sew and love to make others smile. I sew dolls for other kids needing surgery and makes me feel so proud. No matter how young you are, you can sew to make others smile. What are you going to sew? So really cute. So that you can make just from this panel. And then below we have several suggested peppered cottons and just colors. And then we have this all over. This all over has all different sewing machines and buttons and things like that. And then below we have kind of scribbly letters and then little um, a little dot, and inside the dots are little sewing machines and little words. And then over here we have uh, a doll print on aqua and pink, and all different dolls. Uh, a lot of people always ask me for African American and white and all different religions and races, so we've done that. And then below are little flowers, little spools and buttons. Then we have this kind of rickrack, a stripe, some words, and then sewing machines with dots. And then here we show you the picture of the doll and the bag. And then this is a, a quilt. And then here we have another quilt. So that is So Kind by Stitches by Charlotte. Snow Place Like Home is a winter theme line by the very prolific Charlotte Fultz, who brought us Thankful and Blessed, America Home of the Brave, and Hearts of Love. This is a, 12, a 14 skew collection. And as I said before, winter theme ships in June. So this one ships in June. And here you have it. So on the far right, we start out with a 24-inch panel with a snowman on the top portion. And then below that, we have some little bird houses. And then on the bottom, you have a little snowman print on a swirl on white, snowflakes on a gray kind of wood ground. And then we have these blocks, uh, kind of offset squares and, and rectangles with different prints inside. And then below that, we have the packed snowmen. 
another swirly, a little um, wreath with, made out of um, little flowers that's in the shape of a heart. And then we have uh, little berries. And then we have a little swirl again on red. And then here we have another panel. This one is another 24 inch panel. And this one has blocks. And these blocks are nine by 10 and three quarters. Below that we have some just color, uh, sorry, some peppered cottons that go with this line. And then on the far left we have a stripe. And below that we have a plaid and the little birdhouse is on a black ground with snowflakes and a little uh, white dot on black. On the back, you could see the size of the blocks. As I said before, these are nine by 10 and three quarters. And then below here, you could see the stripe and how many rows you're gonna get. And finally, we have the free project and it uses one of the 24 inch panels. And this quilt is 46 by 65 and a half. That's No Place Like Home by Charlotte Fultz and ships in June. Surfing Hounds is a new collection by Tracy Ann, who is a new designer for Studio E Fabrics. This is a very small collection, but sweet. And for all you dog lovers, you're going to love it, especially if you live near the coast. So this is a eight skew collection. It ships in April. And here we have it on the top. You have this little block print with the 10 and a half inch blocks with all these dogs in different positions. Uh, one is surfing. One is just on the beach looking like a lifeguard. Uh, actually, several of them are surfing. And then down here you have, uh, on a kind of watercolor ground, some sunglasses, a uh, little starfish on yellow, and then we have little um, seahorses on blue, like a tonal. And then below that we have an all over with the dog surfing with some little uh, blue dots or little starfish in there. And then we have the pack dogs, uh, really adorable, and several of them are wearing uh, bandanas around their neck that say wolf guard. And then we have the water print, several just color and peppered cottons that go with this line, and then a lovely stripe. Unfortunately, at the time that I have this card, I do not have the free project, but we will have a free project, and this one is called Surfing Hounds by Tracy N. So with that, those are the 13 collections that we will be serving up for you for October of 2019 for Studio E Fabrics. I hope you like them. Thank you for your time. Bye.